Hi everyone, I'm Filippo Franchini and I'm a technical educator at the Web3 Foundation. Today I will show you how to create and delete anonymous proxies. If you need more information about anonymous proxies and how they are generated, I recommend you to visit the wiki page or to watch the video tutorial about why you should create anonymous proxies. In this tutorial, we will try to reconstruct the situation that we have here. We start from a stash account where we have all the funds. This will be Charlie's account. We will use Charlie's account to create the anonymous proxy and we will transfer the funds there. And the funds will remain on the anonymous proxy. At this stage, when the anonymous proxy is created, Charlie's account, the stash account, will act as a any proxy, so it will act as a signer of the anonymous proxy. Then we will use also Charlie's account, the stash, to assign a staking proxy. So we will try to assign a staking proxy to the anonymous proxy. So this staking proxy here, that will be Dan account, will act as a signer of the anonymous proxy, but only for transactions that are related to the staking palette. Now we go to the Polkadot.js user interface and we try to reconstruct the situation. We go to the developer here menu to the extrinsic tab and we select Charlie. We select the proxy palette and uh, we select anonymous. We want to create an any proxy type as this is the only proxy type that has full access to the anonymous proxy. Is it really important that the first proxy you create is the any proxy type? Then we submit the transaction using Charlie's account. All right, we created the anonymous proxy. We go back to the account tab, but we cannot see the anonymous proxy here. In order to add the anonymous proxy, we need to copy Charlie's account. We go to a block explorer and uh, we paste the address here and here we see we created the anonymous proxy what we need is to go and um, retrieve a little bit more information about this transaction we go here and we see that this the first account here is the anonymous proxy so we copy this here, we go back to the user interface, we select proxy, we paste it here, that, that address, and we give it the name anonymous. All right, now we have added the anonymous proxy. We can see the relationship between the anonymous proxy and Charlie account. Actually, Charlie is an any proxy type of the anonymous proxy. Before adding the staking proxy, we need to transfer the funds to the anonymous proxy from the stash account, from the any proxy type, which is Charlie's account. So we select send. We want to send to Anon. And uh, let's say we want to send most of the funds, 50 Westies. Remember here we are on West End. This is a testnet, which means that the tokens here do not carry any economic value and we are free to experiment whatever we want because if something goes wrong, we don't lose any money. So make transfer. Now that we have transferred the funds, we can add the staking proxy. We select add proxy. We select Dan. And uh, we have also to select the type is the staking proxy and then submit. We see now that we can only use Charlie account to sign this transaction. This is the only account that has the permission to do so, is the any proxy type. And uh, we can sign. We added the staking proxy. You can see the staking proxy here and the any proxy here. So we just recreated this scheme here. When the relationship between the anonymous proxy and the any proxy is broken the anonymous proxies the anonymous proxy is not reachable anymore 
It is not possible to retrieve it because uh, we don't have a private key for this account. We just have the address and the only account that is able to have full control of the anonymous proxy is the any proxy. It can be Charlie, it can be any other any proxy that we add, but it's important to leave at least one any proxy type. This is the only way we can have access to the anonymous proxy and we can also delete it. So how do we delete here the anonymous proxy? The first thing to do is that we need to detach the staking proxy. So we go here, we delete the staking proxy and we submit using Charlie account. If we look, the staking proxy is gone. Before deleting the any proxy type, we need to send the money to, to Charlie from the anonymous proxy. We don't need to transfer with the keep alive check. Here we just want to transfer all the money. Now that the anonymous proxy is empty, we are free to remove the, um, any proxy from the anonymous proxy. So we are free to break this relationship here. How do we do that? We go to the extrinsic tab. The call must come from the anonymous proxy. We select proxy palette and uh, we select kill anonymous. Charlie was the account that firstly generated the anonymous proxy, so this is fine, but we need to add detailed information about the block number and the index when the anonymous proxy was generated. So we need to go back to the block explorer. We can see here that seven minutes ago we created the anonymous proxy using Charlie account. We need this information here. The first big number is the block number and uh, the number after the dash is the index. So we copy this, we go back to the user interface, we paste it, we need to put here two, and uh, we submit the transaction using Charlie account, and that's it. We see now that we don't have uh, proxies anymore attached to anonymous proxy, this account is lost forever, we cannot have access to it anymore, so the only thing we can do is forget it. I hope you learned something about uh, creating and deleting anonymous proxy today, and uh, I see you in another video.